Well, hello, my loves. I am popping in today um, to just give you a heads up that there are new stencils in the shop. This is the summer uh, launch for stencils. And um, I want to just quickly kind of run through the ones that <clears throat> I've created and show you some examples and some projects. And then we're going to create a project start to finish. <laughs> uh, as I started creating these, um, we were smack dab <clears throat> in the middle of our pandemic and so I was dreaming of faraway places and so that is very reflective in our new uh, stencil designs. So I've done a lot of, I've got three or four, no actually three of the six by sixes and I duplicate these in eight by ten. So these are Moroccan tiles and I've done a lot of Paris or Moroccan and that kind of feel. I was dreaming of faraway places, but wait till you see how awesome these are. I'm so excited about them. Okay, so Moroccan tile one, two, and three, and these are the six by six. And they're, the pattern is larger than in the 8x10 because I do four of them. Um, but you can really isolate just parts of the 6x6s, six and I'll show you that in just a second, um, for with the 6x6s. Six sixes. So that's 6x6s. Um, six sixes. And then let me find the, okay, so here's Moroccan Tile 3 in the 4x4, four four, or actually not 4x4. Four this is an 8x10, but I've taken the, that tile size down um, and I've got four tiles. So this is going to give you some great pattern and wait till you see what I have done with that. Let me, it's like I'm, I don't have enough desk space all of a sudden. Never enough, right? Uh, Moroccan tile one and Moroccan tile two, 8x10. So this is Moroccan tile one, 6x6. Six six, and this is the 8 by 10 and you can see, wait, I, I just did that wrong. <laughs> okay, Moroccan tile 2, Moroccan tile 2, 8 by 10. So you can see the difference in the sizes. <clears throat> um, both are great for all of your projects. Um, and wait till you see, wait till you see. Okay, let me just, I'm going to set those. Make sure I don't, okay. Moroccan tile four. Oh, I just want to show you. I just I get so excited. And I use that in the project that we create. I've, I've got two videos that we're going to be creating with the new stencil. Um, okay, so this is Paris Flourish. And you guys, I have wanted something like this for a long time. Paris Flourish. And the nice thing is, I've got a smaller one and a larger one, but you can use just bits and pieces of each one of these in all of your patterns. This is Paris Flourish 2. And look at that. Simply gorgeous. Let me find the other one I did. And oh, that's this one. And this one. And the, um, the design elements for this for your projects you can take it long you can do only part of it you can you only use the top of it um, I am thrilled to death with those okay let me set that aside then these are um, Paris elements and again I'm super excited about these because they just are so gorgeous so let me see where do I have, let me, sorry guys, I tried to get this as organized as I possibly could. Here we go. So, oh, the detail on these are fantastic. So these two are this stencil. And then I've got this one. Look at the curves. Look at the, de look at the design. Just amazing and again you can only you can use just bits and pieces of it <clears throat> or use the whole thing then I did some other fun things so this is um, let me make sure. this is uh, shucks 
Moroccan Element Large and you have, you, it comes like this so that you can use it with sprays or your jelly print or whatever and um, you've also got the outer edge if you want that so you can put that together with it so that you can have an edge if you want and let me just show you I don't, do I have that one out? I, I use this in this look at how gorgeous and again you can you you know hang it off the edge of your and we're gonna I'm gonna use this in a project in the video so um, in I don't know if it's today's video no it'll be Friday Saturday's video so awesome awesome and then I did a hand drawn mandala and I love this one it's a little wonky um, hope you can see it um, but I like that because it feels like I I like I just sketched out which I did. <laughs> But we're going to use this in today's project. But super cool. Again, use it with your jelly prints or hang it off the edge, that kind of thing. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. So that <clears throat> is that. Then I did some traditional kind of summery things. Um, I've got a... Um, this is the simple... It's called Simple Branches. And... What did I do with it? I designed this again. I design everything for what I am needing or what I'm wanting, and so I wanted some simple branches to kind of drop down off the page um, or use them as a. Um, let me see what I did with it here. So, to use them as a focal point for, say, words. So, this is the simple branches here. So, I've on the simple branches, I've got. Um, all these different parts and then just some straight ones as well and I'm going to show you some examples so we'll I'll, I just want to quickly go through the stencil so that you can see them and then um, so this is the sunflower one wait till you see this is um, hydrangea and I, I already have a hydrangea <clears throat> but this has got some different elements some smaller ones and some really fun leaves with it this is okay so this is the um, make a wish stencil look at how cute so many ways that you can use this and of course I'm just doing it in black so that you can see it but a couple different sizes and wording and oh, so much fun so this is the pansy stencil and look at how cute there's just so many options that you can do with this and of course I use my stencils as my guide so I added an extra flower in here I just took the head of one of the flowers and just added it in. You can do the stems. You don't have to do the stems. You can do like just leaves in the pansies. Um, a lot of different options for that. Um, so, so cute. When I was creating the flowers, I was looking for summer flowers specifically. And so that's why we got the hydrangea, the geranium, um, the sunflower, and then the pansies. Okay, so then I've got an old type text, which is a larger, larger font, smalls and caps. Um, but the word I, I, I wanted bigger letters as I was creating, and so this is um, the old type text in the large. This is the branches, this is the tiles. Um, so let me just move right along here. Then I've got large numbers. Um, in the old type text and the rustic font and again that's these here and so much fun one of those larger ones and then I've got the um, big bold font I just wanted that boldness that really large font to be able to just do a single bold word <clears throat> in my projects and so perfect for that it's bigger than anything I've got so far so then I've got the um, dictionary pages I'm so happy with how this turned out so it's beauty it's joy journey and courage and the definitions in the from the dictionary and it just is the perfect background for this is going to be like a go-to I think so you can see it in the background here and this um, is the project that we're going to be creating let's see today or I can't remember one of the projects 
Um, but look at how amazing that is. And then I've got, um, I took the arches and made them big. And because um, I've got, the, they're pretty small uh, in my other stencils. And so I took them bigger because, of course, that's what I wanted. And then I added some uh, boulders and some cobblestone. And look at, so this is the boulders. And I used a combination of the boulders and of one of the cobblestones. And then the other cobblestone that I did really looks like it's a street view. Um, and I made those specifically to go together with the arches. And this is going to be Sunday Inspiration um, video this week after you see this video. So that's going to be a good one. Alright, so quickly let's go through the... Um, this is actually one of the videos. For, this is the video we're doing today. Um, so I've got the hand-drawn mandala. I've got all of the Paris elements. I've got that back dictionary pages. I've got the numbers in here. Um, this was just me kind of playing with that um, mandala, uh, hand-drawn mandala. And this is going to be a great, great feature for lots and lots of backgrounds. And um, okay, so that's that one. And then this is actually, <clears throat> this is going to be a Saturday video. Saturday, like tomorrow, once you see this, it'll be the next day. Um, and I'm using the um, Paris Element Large Mask, this here. These are all Paris Elements. Look at how gorgeous that is. Uh, I'm in love with it. So we'll be doing this project um, from start to finish. And then these are just some quick projects that I did with the flowers, just so that you could see the possibilities. So the sunflowers and then these again are the Paris elements and you see how I'm just using bits and pieces of them. You can use them all or a little bit. So good. Um, this is the hydrangea and again the background has the tiles. This is a, um, this is a um, combination of tiles and Paris elements. So good. Just the pattern effect. And then this is the hydrangea, or not the hydrangea, the geranium in the paint in the paint bucket stencil. These are all um, Paris elements and tile um, for backgrounds. Those tiles and those Paris elements are going to be fantastic for um, backgrounds. I can't wait. I can't wait to just really get in and create. I did just these really fast. I mean, these took me no time at all to do. Okay. So now I wanted to show you really quickly, I put this down real fast. Um, this is the Paris Element, one or, I don't know, one or two. And I just want to do a quick wash on it because I did, I used um, super heavy gesso with it. And I just want to show you really quick how pretty it is for all different kinds of um, grabbing some raw umber and I'm just going to do a wash and I, I have gessoed this page and put matte medium on the top of it after I put my um, super heavy gesso down and I just want to I just want to give it a quick wash and this is just raw umber and water there's no glazing medium or anything grab my towel here Pull that back, and then I'm going to give it another coat. Just so that you can see this pattern. Okay, so here it is, and I'm, I've got some alcohol on my rag, and I'm just coming back over and kind of picking up some of that off of the top of the surface of this raised uh, super heavy gesso area and look at how gorgeous that is. I can see this in so many ways. Just the tops, just the middle part. Ah. All right, so those are the new stencils that are available in the shop now. Um, 
I will, there'll be a section just for the newest stencils so you can go right to them if you want. Um, now we're going to create from start to finish. Thank you.